Time for the sporting news at this hour, and here is Ayo Tunde Balogu. Many thanks, Laddie, and off to the camp of the home base Super Eagles, where coach Salas Youssef has released his final squad for the African Nations Championship holding in Morocco. Headlining the list are goalkeeper and skipper Ikechu Kuezenwa, Kano Pillars midfielder Rabiu Ali, and Lobi Stars forward Anthony Opotu. Defensive stalwarts are Sasukuro, Steven Eze, and Kalo Ojo Kogwe also made the final cut. The team is expected to depart for Morocco in a few days to continue preparations ahead of Nigeria's first game against Rwanda on the 15th of this month. In the English Premier League, Manchester City have returned to winning ways with a 3-1 win over Watford at the Etihad following Sunday's goalless draw at Crystal Palace. Elsewhere, Tottenham beat Swansea by two goals to nil with Fernando Llorente and Dele Alli on the score sheet. Crystal Palace beat Southampton 2-1 to climb to 14th on the log. While at the London Stadium, West Ham came from behind to beat West Brom by two goals to one. Andy Carroll scored both goals with the winner coming in stoppage time. Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger has renewed his criticism of referee Mike Dean over the controversial late penalty that denied his side victory over West Bromwich Albion in the Premier League on Sunday. Jay Rodriguez converted the spot kick to give the Baggies a one-all draw at the Hawthorns and Wenger still doesn't understand why the referee, Mike Dean, pointed to the spot. Disappointing in the way it happened and uh, I must say what is more frustrating for me is that uh, it happened many times this season. It was at Stoke, at Watford, at Man City, at West Brom and uh, that is a concerning coincidence for me, you know, and uh, uh, that's why I uh, I was not as well uh, com uh, happy at all with uh, the movement that the referee made to show why, why he gave a penalty because that didn't correspond at all with what happened, you know. So on that front, uh, it's a bit worrying. Roger Federer and Belinda Benkic have completed a clean sweep of Russia at the Hopman Cup in Perth. Following Federer's first rubber win over Karin Kachanov, Benkic put Switzerland 2 up with a 6-1, 3-6-6-3 victory over Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova. Now the mixed doubles went to three sets as well, with the Swiss pair prevailing 4-3, 3-4, 4-1. And that's Sports News. I'm Ayatunde Balogun. The music team continues shortly. Thanks, Ayo. The Israeli government has ordered thousands of African migrants to leave the country or face imprisonment. The migrants will be given up to $3,500 for leaving, and they will also be given the option of either going to their home country or Uganda or Rwanda. But if they don't leave Israel, the authorities there have threatened that from April, they will start putting them behind bars. People from Eritrea and Sudan make up a significant number of migrants in Israel. Most of them say they came to Israel to seek asylum after fleeing conflict, but the authorities regard them as economic migrants. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has warned that an unchecked influx of African migrants could threaten Israel's Jewish character. Iran's supreme leader has accused the country's enemies of stirring days of protests that have claimed at least 22 lives. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei was speaking for the first time since clashes between protesters and security forces broke out last Thursday. Reports say nine people, including a child, died overnight in the violence in central Iran. And the main news again. Fresh attacks by suspected herdsmen in Benue State have left at least 20 persons dead, as Governor Samuel Otom today called for security assistance. Also today, President Buhari ordered the arrest of those behind killings in River States and Kaduna on New Year's Eve. He described the actions as unacceptable. An Israeli government today ordered thousands of African migrants to leave the country within 90 days or face life behind bars. That's tonight's news at 10. Thanks for being with us. My name is Nadi Akiri Dunwali. Good night.